Hello, my name is John with WCI Consulting, and today I'm going to be covering the Instance Manager under the CMC application. So starting off, what you're going to want to do is log into the CMC Management Console. Once we are logged in, we're going to want to click on the Instance Manager. And just to navigate through the Instance Manager, as you're going to see, you're going to have your normal icons on the left-hand side. You're going to have all of your reports listed in the middle here and you will see how many objects, how many reports that you do have on the bottom right corner here. And what you're going to see is you're going to have manage up here, which you can refresh or delete reports with the proper security. You're also going to have actions, which would be pausing, resuming, rescheduling, running schedules as of right now. And then just to cover all the columns that you have here, you're going to have your title of your report, you're going to have your type of report, so whether it's web intelligence, desktop intelligence, Excel, you'll have your status, which here you can see it's reoccurring, and I'll show you here in a second to where you can change that status. You're going to have your folder path where your reports are located. You're going to have your owner, so the owner is whoever created the schedule. And then you'll have your completion time, your next run time, your submission time. If you just keep working your way down here, you're going to have start time, duration. You will also see reoccurrence right here. And you can see that this is based on a calendar. You can see some of these schedules run every day. You will see when the schedules actually are going to lapse and no longer be valid here. And here's some other information, servers and errors that you can pull up if you have that information within your preferences or properties. Okay, so to cover this lower area here, you're going to see parent folder. So from this point, you can select specific folders that you have out there, or you can just run this as a whole. So if I go back here and I just kept this as is, I could just go ahead and find all of my reports. And as you can see, what it does is it brings back every report schedule that is currently out there. And again, to find that, you'll see that at the bottom right-hand corner here. Okay, and what I can do is I can go ahead and break this down per folder. So if we want to find um, some specific folders or reports specified to certain groups that we've created, we can click on Folder. We can click on that other folder that we would like, and you can click OK from there. Now, if we wanted to run just in this folder, we'd go ahead and hit Find. And this will take just a few minutes because it's bringing back every report schedule within that main folder or any subfolders underneath that folder. And as you can see, we have our title again. We have the type of report. These are all reoccurring schedules, your path and your owners. Now, if we want to go into this a little bit deeper, what we can do is we can break this down even more. So as you can see, you have your owner option here, and you could type in the ID that is in business objects and break it down just by that owner. And let me actually show you an example of that real quick. As you can see, we have this owner up here, the FAD9745. So FAD9745. And then I'm just going to hit find from there. What this is going to do is bring back any schedule that owner created the schedules. As you can see, we've broken it down to 56 objects now. Other options that we have are the status option right here. If you wanted to go ahead and uncheck the owner and you want to pick a certain status the schedule is in so you can see all of your successful schedules, you can see all your failed schedules, and uh, you can see running, pause, pending, or reoccurring. What we'll do from here is we can go ahead and let's just pick failed so you can see that. What I usually do from here is I pick a certain date so it's not bringing back all failed reports. So if I can click on completion time here, what you'll want to do is you will go ahead and let's just pick... Let's pick this past Saturday, and then we'll go to uh, 12 a.m. today and see what we get here. As you can see, it brought back seven objects of failed schedules that failed over the weekend, pretty much. And again, you can do uh, paused schedules, you know, currently running schedules, pending schedules, and then, of course, reoccurring, which would be anything out there that is currently reoccurring. You also have your next runtime. And what the next runtime is, is of course self-explanatory that the next time this report is going to run. So if you wanted to see which reports are going to run for tomorrow, you could select the next runtime, go ahead and pick uh, tomorrow's date from say 12 a.m. to 10 p.m. and uh, that'll give you the any report that's going to run during that time. 
Okay, and last but not least on here, you will go ahead and see the object type. And this is where you can break it down to where if you want to bring all of your web intelligence reports up, all of your desktop intelligence reports up, any publications or crystal reports, and you can break it down to that way as well. So overall, that is the instance manager. Thank you very much.